Welcome to Learning Den. Have you ever wondered where our electricity comes from? How does flipping a switch light up a room? Well, today, we're going to explore how useful energy is obtained and how electrical power is generated using different energy sources. Let's break it down. Fossil fuels such as coal, oil, and natural gas store chemical energy from ancient plants and animals that lived millions of years ago. Here's how we turn fossil fuels into electricity. We burn the fuel in a boiler, heating water until it turns into steam. This high-pressure steam spins a turbine, which is connected to a generator. The generator produces electricity, sending it to our homes. Simple, right? But here's the problem. Burning fossil fuels releases carbon dioxide, which contributes to climate change. Plus, these fuels are non-renewable, meaning one day they'll run out. Now, what if we could use fuels that won't run out? That's where biofuels come in. These are made from plants and animal waste, like ethanol and biodiesel. Biofuels work just like fossil fuels. They are burned to heat water and create steam. The steam spins a turbine, which drives a generator. The big difference is that biofuels are considered carbon neutral. They absorb as much carbon dioxide while growing as they release when burned. That makes them a more sustainable option. Next, let's talk about water energy, one of the most powerful forces on Earth. Hydroelectric power comes from dams. Water stored in a reservoir flows down, spinning a turbine, which powers a generator. Wave energy uses floating devices that move with the waves to drive turbines. Tidal energy takes advantage of the rise and fall of ocean tides, using underwater turbines to generate electricity. These methods are clean, renewable, and efficient, but they can be expensive to build and may affect aquatic ecosystems. Deep inside our planet, there's an incredible source of heat, geothermal energy. Here's how we use it. Water is pumped underground, where it gets heated by hot rocks. This turns the water into steam, which spins a turbine and drives a generator. Geothermal energy is clean, renewable, and works all the time, but it's mostly available in volcanic regions like Iceland. Now, let's talk about nuclear energy, one of the most powerful energy sources on Earth. Instead of burning fuel, nuclear power plants split atoms in a process called nuclear fission. This releases huge amounts of heat, which turns water into steam. The steam spins a turbine, which drives a generator. Nuclear power is efficient and does not produce carbon dioxide, but it does create radioactive waste, which is difficult to dispose of safely. One of the most abundant energy sources we have is the sun. There are two main ways to use solar energy. Solar cells, also called photovoltaic cells, convert sunlight directly into electricity. Solar heating panels absorb the sun's energy to heat water for homes and businesses. Solar power is clean, renewable, and great for remote areas, but it depends on sunlight availability and can be expensive to install. Last but not least, let's talk about wind energy. The sun heats the earth unevenly, creating wind, which we can use to generate electricity. Wind turbines spin when the wind blows. The spinning motion drives a generator, creating electricity. Wind energy is clean and renewable, but it depends on wind speed and can be noisy in residential areas. So how do we generate electricity? Let's go over it one more time. Fossil fuels are burned to create steam, which spins a turbine and drives a generator. Biofuels work the same way, but are renewable. Hydroelectric power, waves, and tides use moving water to spin turbines. Geothermal energy taps into the Earth's internal heat. Nuclear power splits atoms to release energy. Solar power converts sunlight into electricity. Wind energy harnesses moving air to spin turbines. Each energy source has its advantages and disadvantages, but together, they help power the world. What's your favorite energy source? 
let me know in the comments. And don't forget to follow Learning Den for more exciting physics lessons. Thank you for watching and see you next time.